The burial service of the late Professor Kwesi Bochi was held at the forecourt of the State House in Accra, presiding bishop of the Methodist Church. Most Reverend Dr. Paul Boafo noted that the late statesman has left behind legacies worthy of emulation. In the economy of our dear nation, Ghana, what are you leaving behind? These days, we come into positions and we think that it is for ourselves, for our families, and that is all. I pray that we will learn of these from this son of ours. His children said they find solace in the love he shared. As a family of a former finance minister, we thoroughly understand the value of the staff time and resources that have been so graciously provided to us. But Your Excellency, I think you knew my father well, and I suspect you know that he would never have asked for or even welcome such fanfare. We thank God for the impact that his life made on Ghana, and indeed all of Africa and the world. And most of all, we thank God that our father, our friend, for him, death is not the end. God's only son didn't come to be served, but to serve and to give his life as a ransom for many. His party, the NDC, in a tribute, recounted how after being appointed finance minister in 1982, turned an ailing economy round through a wide range of economic reforms before he exited office in 1995. President Akufo Addo also in a tribute noted that the late professor discharged his duties with thoughtfulness and dignity. On behalf of the state, senior presidential advisor Yao Osafomafo indicated that the late finance minister's contribution to national development cannot be quantified. <laughs> Professor Kwesi Boche died on November 19 at age 80. Evelyn Tinkma, TV3 News, Accra.